signed Kareem Hunt and added Olivier Vernon and Sheldon Richardson on defense. And the other teams in their division have lost some key pieces. The Steelers no longer have Le'Veon Bell, which we just talked about, and Antonio Brown. And the Ravens have lost several key players on defense. So, Skip, yeah. how about this question? How good are the Browns now? Before I get to all the positives, and there are many, and they are off the charts, a couple of negatives, and they're big ones. I just mentioned Greg Williams. It's a huge loss on, on defense. I still can't understand how they didn't keep Greg Williams. They, they, they didn't even, if, I know he, he wanted to be the head coach. I think his personality is so big and strong, and he's so defiant, and he's such his own man that I think the GM, John Dorsey, finally said, I can't live with that as my head coach. Like, Dorsey wants a little more hands-on control. He wants more Jerry Jones-esque, where I, I run this. I, I, the, the, the head coach will answer to me, and I don't think Greg Williams is going to answer to him. And obviously, Greg Williams, Hugh Jackson, butted heads through hard knocks. And, yeah. and Greg is, whew, he's a force. You think he'd be a good head coach? I can't sell him off his track record because he was before and it didn't work out. He's just a great defensive coordinator. I think he was born to be a defensive coordinator and I wish they could have kept him as mm. their coordinator. They're going to lose on defense and I don't think the defense is going to be able to live up to the offense. They lost Jabril Peppers unless, and there are reports, at least there's one report, that they are in on the Earl Thomas Derby. If they sign Earl Thomas, all bets are off. Okay. I take back everything I just said. I don't know if they're going to pull this off. It would be to my regret because I still think my Cowboys are in that. I just still have this feeling Jerry Jones is going to go get that deal done. But they have money. They have momentum. They got superstars now. And I'm sure Earl's saying, wow, maybe Cleveland is the place to be. You, you know how players are. Oh, yeah. You see it in the NBA where all of a sudden, oh, that's where, let, let's all go there. Yep. Okay, yep. let's yep. team up there. Yep. So it would be the equivalent of LeBron, D Wade, Bosch, you know, like it's that, it's, it has that kind of feel to it all of a sudden in Cleveland. So I would take it all back. I also don't like, uh, love Freddie Kitchens as the head coach. Again, never even a coordinator except for a brief stretch last year. He just came out of nowhere. Baker loves him. They clicked. They connected. He's like a little, like a big brother right, to Baker right, Mayfield. Sure. Well, is that your head coach? Well, I think John Dorsey is now effectively the head coach as the Jerry Jones of the franchise. Is that going to work? Is Freddie Kitchens going to be able to handle, as you said, all the new personalities? I don't know. Now let's go to the positives. <clears throat> There's no better receiving core than this receiving core. On, on right. papers, but with Odell and Jarvis alone, you got, as long as they're ha happy, as long as everybody is okay with their productivity, I like Antonio Callaway. He made big plays for Baker Mayfield last year. He can fly. He's got off the field issues coming out of Florida, but last year he had some huge, he can run by people. Yep. And Rashard Higgins has a deep, good connection with Baker Mayfield. And Njoku has a good connection. He, he can really catch it and run with it. He's a big force. Nick Chubb came on and, and took over the running back position, and they still have Duke Johnson. And obviously, sitting out there is Kareem Hunt from Cleveland, Ohio. I think he's going to be suspended for at least eight games. It could be the whole year. I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know what it's going to be, but he is now property of the Cleveland Browns. Let's say he came back in week nine or ten or whenever it would be. That would be a new big pop of star power because obviously he's a force. And on, on defense, they've added Olivier Vernon, and I don't like Sheldon Richardson. I, don't, I just don't like his intangibles. No. It's like he's got losing intangibles to me, but he's a good player. He's got, he's got ability, and yet they lost Jabil Prep, Peppers and, and Greg Williams. So right now, I still think Pittsburgh's still a little bit better than Cleveland, mm, just really? a little bit better. Yep. I've got Cleveland winning the AFC North. Okay. And I don't know if that's the, the Clevelander in me, because as you said, maybe, I did maybe. live there in high school. But I, I believe, look, what we saw offensively last year was really good with Baker at the end. And now you've added, obviously, OBJ. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention Nick Chubb. So even no, guess, before, just, okay, yeah, before yeah. Kareem Hunt gets back, yeah. they got the running game. You, you were right. I agree with you on the receiving core. It's terrific. I do think Williams is a loss. And I'm concerned about that. But I still, even losing Peppers, 
you know, you got Denzel Ward. Mm -hmm. You got you just got Demarius Randall. Like they still got some and corner. Scary, yeah, awesome. yeah. They, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and so they can cover. I think defensively they're going to be fine even without Williams. Kitchens, everybody there talks about how he has such a great feel for the offense. And and he was 5 and 3 when he was calling the plays. Mm -hmm. Now I do wonder is this you know, kind of like you said, he's a big brother to ba Baker rather than a father type figure. And how will that work as head coach? We've seen this before in the NBA. You've seen it at times in the NFL. The guy that the players really like mm -hmm. sometimes has trouble commanding mm -hmm. the room. And yep. th th does he have that background? And I, I don't know his personality or whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he can command the room. That's kind of a concern. Mm -hmm. But I do, I think OBJ will be happy because his boy Jarvis is there. And I think Baker. They'll have a lot in common, yeah. those three. We already seen Baker tweeting out, you know, already. Instagram pictures or whatever. And so I, I and I think Baker is a strong personality. He and I think that. if there's a problem in that huddle, if somebody wants more targets, he will be able to handle it. He is in your face. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He, he will express himself right nose to nose to, to you. He will take nothing off nobody in a huddle or a locker room. So he will, he'll be the commander of this team and this offense, and I think it'll be good for Odell to try to blend in instead of take over and, yep. and be the, the only player on offense, basically. And whether or not, like I said, I'm, I feel confident in predicting they'll win the division, hmm. but I think the Steelers will be tough. I'm not sold on Lamar Jackson. I don't know if he can survive a whole season, and if he does cut back the running, which he needs to do, how effective will he be? So I'm not sold on him. Obviously, Cincinnati... I think is is kind of rebuilding, I guess. So even if the Browns don't win the division, I think they're in the playoffs. Mm. I think this is a better team with even with the loss of Greg Williams than they were last year and they won seven games. So I think I think this is a playoff team for sure. <sighs> Probably hard overhead for me, but I immediately tweeted last night. Welcome to the playoffs and Pro Bowl, comma, I Baker Mayfield. I liked it. And so I'm with you. My heart says this is a playoff team. And then after I slept on it, I started thinking about the defense. I, I don't know. Can the defense hold up? Fair enough. A lot of times last year it didn't hold up. A lot like at Oakland. You remember it became a shootout. Right. Okay. And Baker was extraordinary. And they lost to the Raiders in Oakland because the defense didn't hold up. But in this offense... And I'm not going to put it on Kansas yep. City's level. Because mm -hmm. I don't think Baker, as much as I like him, he's not Pat Mahomes. No, but he's he's in the ballpark. You think? He is in the I, ballpark. I, he can win. I don't it. know if he's in the town. I like I him. But, <laughs> but that's a big town. But anyway, it looks like, does it not look like they're putting together something similar? Dorsey obviously was the architect was. in Kansas City. It looks like they're putting together something similar. You got the great receivers. You got the running game. Well, if it falls obviously the Kareem City Hunt. pattern, then they won't have any defense, right? It'll well, but, but that's my point. That. Will this defense, can it be, I think it unquestionably can be as good, I'd say better than Kansas City's defense last year. I would agree with that So it that, wasn't very good. So if the offense is close to KC and the defense is a little better than Kansas City's last year, even though they picked it up in the playoffs, okay. I think that they can, uh, they can be all right. Okay. My point on the Steelers, they will be a little better off, a okay. little better off without A.B., without Le'Veon. And the reason they will, I just like James Conner. He is lunch pail carrying, right. blue collar, comes to I, – I just looked at no the numbers nonsense. last year, and the numbers said Le'Veon, Le'Veon, Le'Veon. It is, does he have the star power? No, he doesn't. Does he have the sort of mystique, the reputation? Does he bring – the aura of Le'Veon Bell on the football field, he does not because he, he plays little bit, like he even looks little to me in his pads, but he, he packs a wallop. And that Jalen Samuels, I keep bringing him up because against New England last year in a big Pittsburgh win, the backup running back had 142 yards on 19 carries. And I said, where did he come from? So you got a one-two punch. I like Juju. I just think I he's, agree. I like his intangibles. I like his confidence. I, I like that he... Was it? Did he Instagram the picture? The picture I think it was. Yeah. Kind of a call. Out. Get ready. And right it away. Call out right. Of Antonio. It was a Raiders picture. Yeah, yeah it was. Maybe was right and on that back play, back. Yeah. that was the play where Antonio was had, threw his arms up like I'm Correct. open, and Juju initially ruled out, and then they reviewed, and it was in, and he said his caption was, "I'm ready." Yeah, you wonder if there was something there because 
It seemed like Antonio kind of went south again when Juju was named MVP. He did. Sure. I interviewed Juju at the Super Bowl. Did and you? He, know? Yeah, and he talked about how, like, we asked him about Ben calling the players out, and he said, look, he doesn't say anything publicly that he hadn't said to us privately. Yeah. So he was all in on it. You know, I get it. He's a young player. Maybe he's buying in, drinking the Kool-Aid. But he seemed like he had the right attitude. And look, this is what they've done with receivers. I mean, just go all the way back to who? And with Plaxico Burris and, and, you know, Mike Wallace and, and mm -hmm. Hines Ward. They just move on and move somebody on. steps in and fills the void. And you mentioned Connor. The numbers, I agree, he's not as electric as Le'Veon, but the numbers were better. They were just, not, not equal, better. They were better. Yards per carry, yeah. he, yards he, per he catch, 20-plus yard right. runs. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree. I think Tomlin, again, listen, is going to regain I'm control. i say it one more time. James Washington at Oklahoma State was a game-breaker. Absolutely. He had issues with Ben. Ben was all over him as a rookie last year. Just watch him rise and shine and emerge mm -hmm. in the wake of A.B. I still think Pittsburgh on defense, remember, they, they were tied for first in sacks last year. That cupboard is not bare. So I'm still giving them a slight edge, but I, I would hope that you're right about two AFC North teams make wow. the playoffs because I would love to see Baker Mayfield thrive right into the playoffs. Boy, how things can change in two years. Remember Ooh. that winless season? Ooh. Feels like a distant memory Ooh. two years ago. They've come a long way. And the last time they won the division, 1989. Hmm. So that was three years before I was living OBJ in was born. That time. Did you celebrate? <laughs> I was in college. Did it feel like a long time ago? Yes. Or maybe they can get back Jenny, to it. Remember what I said? LeBron leaves, Baker arrives. Yeah, you know, you did like, say like, that. I'm going to give uh -huh. you that one. I've uh -huh. been on with you on the Baker train all along, and this thing Can Baker just handle not being the up. biggest personality? Yeah. He'll thrive off that, too. Can It'll just really? motivate like him compete. to what? Yeah, yeah exactly. They'll right. compete yeah. for the spotlight, yeah. and actually, I think that could work in their favor. But there is one team that hasn't done anything what? in free agency, and here's the thing. It's uh, Skip's Cowboys, so okay, what I'm, is going on I'm, in Dallas? I'm leaving. No, yeah. stay, I'm stay. Out. We'll Thank discuss you. next.